Hello everyone and welcome back to Shri FC. I hope you all are well and you're good. I really hope your day is going well and you all are well and good because that's always my first priority. And you know guys, the new series I've started and it's just not about Chelsea on this day. It's also about some players we have signed, the summer transfer window going on and how many players we have signed on this day. And 9th August 2018 was a special day for Chelsea. I'm going to discuss first of all on one of them. And that is Chelsea signing Matteo Kovacic on loan. You will have guessed, guys. I know a lot of you will have known, but if you not, it's part and parcel. Let's have a chat here and let's discuss about Chelsea. Let's discuss about signing of Matteo Kovacic on this day. Because this day, Chelsea signed Matteo Kovacic on loan from Real Madrid. Next year, we all know it was permanent and now he's at Manchester City. But some parts of Kova's history at Chelsea have always been wonderful and we all love it to base. So before I start, do hit the like and subscribe. Your support really means a lot. And guys, starting off with Marte Kovacic, we sealed his deal uh, from Real Madrid. We also signed another player which I won't name, which will be for another video. You all know that. And then we also had Jorginho. So we had a lot of uh, good things in the Marisa Sari. Mariso Sarri deal took a lot of time to be completed so fans were really frustrated and now a lot of things were falling into the pieces. We were exciting to have a Real Madrid player, Matteo Kovacic with the experience of winning so many Champions Leagues and Matteo Kovacic started well. The game against Liverpool who can forget Eden Hazard scoring the goal, prime Sarri ball, Matteo Kovacic assists and Eden Hazard scoring from his left foot. But after that, Matteo Kovacic's performance slowly declined a bit which is not his mistake. Because Sari ball was a thing that you need a lot of patience, you need a lot of time to uh, understand it, to master it. And the fans just sadly did not have the patience, which you can understand that because it was pass, 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 pass. And then you have to see Jorginho, Kovacic and Barkley midfield is going to make any fan frustrated. If you remember Chelsea lined up that season when Eden Hazard wasn't fit, uh, we had Kepa as the goalkeeper. Then we used to have a back four with uh, Cesar at the right, Marcus at the left. We used to have Rudiger Luis, the centre backs, Jorginho Kovacic, Barkley, and Iguain, Pedro, and Millian. Everybody knows how disastrous uh, to see that lineup play passing football was. And this is why fa many fans did not like Kovacic. They wanted us to not sign him, while many were happy with his ball carrying, with his dribbling, because Marte Kovacic was really, really good at that. And he still had some very good time. And next season, under Super Frank, we finalized his deal. And I think under Super Frank, he had a very good season. Marte Kovacic really, really played well. Then Thomas Tuchel came in. He even reached another level under uh, Thomas Tuchel and really played some great games. I know Jorginho Conte had a massive part in winning the Champions League after that. But even Kovacic has some big part to play. And Kovacic was a fantastic player for us. And even after that, Kovacic again was a fantastic player. Conte sadly was getting injured. And Kovacic at his prime was a player you did not want to play. The guy's ball carrying was wonderful. You saw in the FA uh, Community Shield final, the guy is so good, uh, good with the ball. Receiving passes, making passes, right positioning, carrying the ball. He's one of the best ball carriers you will see. I believe if you remember and you go and see his performance even in the FA Cup final against Arsenal where he was red carded, his ball carrying was really, really good. And if you remember the match against Manchester United which beat them 3-1 in the semi-final, the guy was unstoppable. At his best, it was like unstoppable to catch the ball from him. But the biggest concern regarding Matej Kovacic was scoring goals and that is something which Chelsea fans really saw inside. The first one of them was against Everton in a 3-1 loss. He scored a wonder goal but we lost that game. He also scored against Valencia, but that game ended in a 2-2 draw. But one of the most memorable Kovacic goal will be, I believe, one of them Salzburg because we actually won the game. And the Liverpool goal because we were 2-0 down and Liverpool were battering us at Stamford Bridge. Kovacic goal opened the gates and we went on to draw 2-2. Stamford Bridge was on his feet and that was one of Kovacic's great moments at Chelsea. Now he has signed for Manchester City, which I believe is a good deal for all the parties involved because at Chelsea we're building a new young midfield. And I don't believe Kovacic sues the midfield of Pochettino. Under Pochettino, you need a player like Enzo Fernandez, a creative player. And you need a player like Casero, which can cover all around the pitch. He's aggressive, he's tenacious, tackling, interception, along with that passing, which Kovacic sadly, in terms of defensively, when we used to have Jovacic play together, Jorginho Kovacic, we used to be defensively awful under transitions, but we used to be a very good possession-based team. But in Manchester City, who already have Rodri, who already had a good defense, 
I think he's going to play a massive part and he's really, really going to lit it up at Manchester City. So I think it's a good deal for all parties involved. I'll always love Matte Kovacic. Big up to Matte Kovacic, Manchester City people. And please, people, do the like and subscribe and to put your memories and opinion on Matte Kovacic to Chelsea below. Because on this day, Chelsea signed Matte Kovacic on loan from Real Madrid, which he finalized the coming year. Thank you and hopefully you all have a great day.